Skylar Cole singing the Star Spangled Banner. Tonight, the league and all of us here at 2K Sports celebrate Noche Latina, an opportunity to spotlight the amazing Latin culture in the NBA and its global fan base. With our analysts, Brent Barry and Grant Hill, this is Brian Anderson, along with reporter Ali LaForce. Looking now at the lineup for the teams tonight, some names out of action. And some uncertainty arises when both teams are missing players. Who is better able to weather the storm and take care of business? A look at the Pelicans starting group. The backcourt, McCullum and Jones. The Duke connection alive and strong with Ingram and Zion at the three and the four. And it's Valanchunas in at the five. And for Miami, on the wing, it'll be Robinson and Butler. Then it's Bam out of bio. Then it's Terry Rozier. And it's Highsmith in at the four spot. Well, we got an old-fashioned matchup on our hands tonight, Grant. Two teams who deploy impactful big men. Yeah, B.A., and in a league where perimeter play so often is the deciding factor, tonight I expect this to be a slugfest inside. It'll be the heat off the tip. McCullum against Rozier. Pass to Adebayo. Adebayo is screen on Ingram. Here's Highsmith. Adebayo with it. Puts the move on. And it's good on the lay-in. And that's just one of the moves that Bam has in his arsenal. Here's McCullum. Valanchunas with a screen on Rozier. McCullum, the pass to Valanchunas. And the dunk by Valanchunas. That's the kind of passing you want there. Work the ball around, keep it moving, try to get an assist on every bucket. Pass to Adebayo. Rejected by Valanchunas. How about that 7-6 wingspan of Valanchunas? That helps him erase the shot. Valanchunas with a screen on Rozier. Here's McCollum. Finds the bottom from 13 feet out. And despite the defender's length, he goes right up from the mid-range. I don't think he sees any kind of defense when he's at that range. It doesn't matter who's guarding him. Now here's Rozier. Pass to Butler. Here's Adebayo. Shot clock at five. Rozier outside. Drives to the hoop. Count it. One for one to start the game. And there is some intelligence behind the passing of Adebayo. Not flashy, but making smart ones. Ingram against Butler. Williamson with a screen on Butler. The baseline, Jay. Rebound by the Heat. Rozier outside. Pass to Robinson. Here's Highsmith, covered by Williamson. Here's Butler. Valanchunas with a rebound. We'll have a hard time shaking that one off. Perfect position, plenty of space. Just clanked it. 
Well, Grant, the pace that the Heat like to play is a little slower compared to other teams. Yeah, B.A., more methodical, definitely. They don't just jack up shots and run quick plays. They're very patient, and they look for the best scoring option. Now here's McCollum. Drops in the three. McCollum's got five. That's a great read on the pick and roll by McCollum. The defender backing up leaves him no hope of affecting that shot. Ingram against Butler. Pass to Robinson. Fires the three. Sends it home from three-point land. And both teams running long-range plays that are working. Well, both of them looking towards the three-point line. And I like to see that, especially when the results are made buckets. Now here's Ingram. Over Butler. He's now one for two with that bucket. Brandon Ingram's advantage when he's down low like that still comes through in his length. Pass to Adebayo. Nice D from Valanchunas. Defense as tough as it comes right there. He's a hard man to deny when he gets the ball to the rim. Now Ingram. Butler covering. Takes a step back. Now Jones. Galanchuna sets a screen. A little mid-range shot is up. And that one's good. A nice job on the glass as they picked up two on the second effort. Yeah, it's so hard to move a mountain, trust me. Major damage on the boards being done by Valanchunas. Outside Butler. Adebayo, a screen on Ingram. Pass to Highsmith. Adebayo with it. Valanchunas covering. For three, Robinson. Good! And the assist goes to Adebayo. He's got six. That's his game right there. Robinson, one of the more deadly shooters in the NBA. And here's Valanchunas. Valanchunas with a screen on Rozier. McCullum, a pass to Valanchunas. Out to McCullum. Takes the three. And another three for New Orleans. Now CJ saying, not so fast. I'm not letting you get away from us tonight. There's the return payback three. Pass to Adebayo. Butler on the wing. Over Ingram. And Butler the bucket on the assist from Adebayo. One of the more skilled offensive players that is on the floor here tonight. Not an easy fella to hold in check. Ingram deciding where to go with it. Alan Chunas with a screen on Butler. Here's Ingram. It's hauled in by the Heat. And here's Butler. Adebayo sets a screen. Butler against Ingram. A nice shot by Butler. Butler's gotten his second bucket of the game. He really hooked the defender with that pump fake. It worked to perfection. McCullum on the wing, pounded by Rozier. Here's Williamson. Highsmith grabs the board. He's got so many ways to score in the post. Just nifty, uses fakes. You have to have a body on him every time he's down there. Now Jones, still no points. Here's McCollum. Nice jump shot from the top of the key. Great pass there from Herbert Jones. When someone's open, he'll find them. For Miami, they've got six of ten attempts to fall. Rozier, the pass to Adebayo. Jones against Robinson. Back to Adebayo. to Butler and it's Butler with the jam a little show of power from Jimmy Butler up there on the rim and so McCullum will bring it up for New Orleans Fallon Chunas with a screen on Rozier and looks like an illegal pick was set that gets the ref's attention you're not going to fool the officials too often on an illegal screen yeah everybody saw that one that was pretty blatant there 
Miami has gone two of two at the perimeter. And you look at what C.J. McCollum brings to the table. A skilled marksman and a calming presence in the locker room. Well, what do you expect from the president of the Players Association? I mean, he's got to be regal, he's got to be refined, and he's super polished on and off the floor. Six to shoot. Here's Butler, and it's Butler with the jam. Now, there are only a few players in the league who can hit a teammate like that in stride. Beautiful assist. Now here's McCollum. Ten points for him. Valanchunas sets a screen. McCollum, the pass to Valanchunas. Oh, can't finish the one-handed jam. For Miami, they've got eight out of 12 shots to fall. Here's Rozier. Pass to Highsmith. Back to Rozier. Jacks up a three. The Pelicans pull it in. Ingram with the ball. Shoots over Rozier. And that one's good. Ingram. Brandon Ingram, a constant threat on the offensive end. And a little bit of work right there in the mid-range. Now here's Butler. Pass to Adebayo. Nice D from Valanchunas. Adebayo's gone just one for four so far. Here's Hawkins. Ingram with the ball. Here's Valanchunas. And from the field after that one, three for four now. Yeah, it's going to take a lot more to slow down Valanchunas. He powers right through those guys. Pass to Adebayo. Back to Rozier. Adebayo sets a screen. Again, the Heat misses. I admire the play call. They just couldn't capitalize. Yeah, an efficient offensive possession. They found the look that they wanted, just didn't go in. Now here's McCollum. He's got 10. Outside Ingram. Hawkins, the pass to Valanchunas. There's McCollum with the three. And another three for New Orleans. Just so good off the pass. McCollum set up and ready at all times. Rozier against McCollum. Adebayo a screen on McCollum. And he lobs it up top. And Adebayo slams it in. That's everything you want there. Bam Adebayo up there. Vertical. Good hands. And a big throw down. Pass to Valentunas. to the middle. Here's Ingram. Soft touch off the glass. Ingram's got six points. That Ingram and that body and that maturation showing off in plays just like that. Attention fans, that one is your high Miami trailing. Here's Highsmith to the wing, right side. Here's Adebayo. Shoots over Valanchunas. Adebayo, that's good. He's got six. And <laughs> they keep trading punches. Both teams in a groove early. Who's going to miss first? Every time one team scores, the other team right back at you. Now here's Ingram. They get it back. Pass to Hawkins. Ingram with a screen on right. Here's McCollum. Hey, he's now six for six. He is cooking right now. Uh, CJ operating like a surgeon out there tonight. Now Adebayo. Adebayo sets a screen. No good on the three. Given his range, you'd expect him to capitalize on that open. There's a screen. McCollum with it. Martin picks him up. McCollum shot is off. Well, they shouldn't be giving that shot to anyone, but they certainly shouldn't be giving it to him. That's a big break for the defense. What elevation. He's a smaller but still determined big man, and he likes mixing it up with his impressive vert. McCollum looks around. With the teardrop. Tipped. McCollum against Wright. 
There's 48 seconds left in the opening quarter. Here's Jaquez. Hasn't gotten one to fall yet. High Smith. Ooh, can't tie it up as that one's no good. McCullum, the pass to Ingram. The baseline, Jay. Jaquez grabs the board. Miami's gone two of five from deep. Pass to right. Just two seconds between the shot clock and the game clock. Here's Highsmith. Right outside. Five on the clock. Off target from the baseline. C.J. McCollum has been leading the charge for New Orleans. He was dominant this quarter, scoring in bunches. For NBA on 2K Sports right after this. And it's been a pretty even game here after one quarter of play. And guys, what's your take on the Pelicans so far? Was simple. Rebounding made all the difference in the first quarter. They really got after it. Yeah, rebounding can also be just about will, and they showed some of that in going in there and collecting some boards. They've got DeLon Wright, also Jimmy Butler out there, and it's Martin in at the power forward spot. So that's who Miami starts the second with. Plenty of daylight on that shot. You got to try to scramble the Jets right here and get that guy off the sweet spot. That's one of the best three-point shooters in the league. Butler taking his time here. Pass to Martin. Here's Jovic. He's guarded by Nance. And he gets the bucket. When Martin puts the ball in his teammates' hands, good things happen. New Orleans in the lead. Here's Hawkins. Here's Nance. There's the three. Hawkins grabs the board. Outside Butler. Pass to right. And here's Martin to the paint. It's stolen. Here's Hawkins. Butler covering. Hawkins, the pass to Nance. And Nance with the slam. The good use of the screen and roll as Larry Nance Jr. does a great job of slashing right after setting the screen. Well, New Orleans hasn't made the playoffs in consecutive years since 2008-2009. You know, B.A., that was back in the Chris Paul era. They only reached the postseason twice with Anthony Davis. But in recent years, injuries have prevented them from reaching their potential. They grab their own miss. Here's Martin. Misses the three. New Orleans has gone four or five from outside the arc in this one. And here in the second, two minutes gone by. Pass to Hawkins. Now here's McCollum. Down to five on the shot clock. Three-pointer. And it's Martin with the rebound. The Heat have gone just one of three to begin the second quarter. Here's Jaquez. Rebounded by New Orleans. Well, the D's so tight on him, it makes him alter his shot. And an easy chance turns into a tough one because the defense is swarming. Pass to Hawkins. McCullum outside. Buries it from three. And now it's a nine-point Pelican lead. Finding some space out there on the perimeter was McCollum, and he finds ways to knock it down. Butler passes to Martin. Butler on the bounce, and the bucket counts, and he is on his way to the line. He'll try to make it a three-point play. And a look now at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for the Pelicans. Well, in today's NBA, the three-point shot is so valuable. They realize this, and that's why they're continuing to drain as many as they can. Love the passing that they displayed at the start of the game. Great ball movement that's opening up some chances without really getting deep into the execution. 
Well, Grant, we saw a lot of lower seeds winning series in last year's playoffs. Is the regular season losing importance? You know, B.A., there's greater parity, which means less separation in the league, especially between the top seeds and the bottom seeds. But still, the league needs to make sure regular season games do matter. And keeping us updated from the sideline, Allie LaForce. Zion Williamson is doing his homework. He said, quote, I watched a lot of old school players and I tried to figure out their mindsets. And all of their mindsets were the same. People remember winners. So whenever the time comes for me to be done with the game of basketball, I want them to say he was a winner. Guys, he's on his way. So true. Thanks, Allie. Jaquez, that's good. Jaquez has got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. Just a great setup there. You can see how Jimmy Butler enjoys making plays. McCollum against Rozier. And it's Martin with the rebound for Miami. They've got three of six shots to go here in the second quarter. Now here's Butler. He's closely guarded. And the rebound goes to the Pelicans. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. Inside. Out to McCullum. Here's Marshall. On the wing, Jones. He's guarded by Martin. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. And grant the resiliency and determination of the Heat. Not to be underestimated. Well, B.A., last season became just the second eighth seed in NBA history to advance to the finals. And Jimmy Butler said it. We don't care if you pick us to win. We never have. We never will. Highsmith, he's checked in for Miami. And the Pelicans also making a change. Ingram's checked in for Marshall. Good on the second one. You scan around the league to look at young guys who might be pillars of teams moving forward. You know, Herb Jones could be one of those guys. They set a pick. And it's Butler off the drive. Pass to Rozier. Butler with the ball. Let's it go from deep. Jones grabs the board. Now here's McCullum, pounded by Rozier. McCullum against Rozier. Chalk up two there. McCullum's got 20 points. Lots of ways that CJ can burn you right there. Super effective on the inside. Rozier, the pass to Martin. Robinson with it. He's picked up by Jones. Oh, he powers right through the defender for the dunk. Draws the foul, too. And he'll go to the line. It's going to be on Brandon Ingram. And what really separates Jimmy Butler as a player is competitive fire, Brent. B.A., you see that wall over there? Go ask Jimmy to run through it. Guess what? He'll do it twice. He'll go through it one way, turn around, and come back. I mean, this guy has got incredible willpower, and when the stakes are highest, he's at his best. The Pelicans making a switch here. Williamson's checked in. The free throw is off from Butler. Jimmy Butler and his energy is something that is infectious for his team. He gets his squad so energized to work through the toughest moments of the game. Now here's Nance. Pass to McCullum from the arc. It's rebounded by Jimmy Butler. And it's Butler with the ball for Miami. They trail by seven. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. And Brent for the Pelicans, it seems like it's a matter of time before Willie Green's group puts it all together. Now they certainly have the pieces and on paper, B.A., they are very, very scary. It's a young and talented core, and there's no reason that these guys should not be moving up in the Western Conference standings. Butler hits them both. Well, we always hear about heat culture. How would you define it, Brent? Well, I think what they do is just find guys who are hungry. And then they do a great job of starving you during the year. And 
What I mean by that is just Mark. making it competitive. You're going to earn everything you get if you're a member of the Miami Heat, and that includes playing time. Up top, McCullum, pounded by Rozier. Offensive rebound, Williamson. After missing his first attempt, now one for two. Well, that kind of activity down low from Zion is exactly what they're looking for. McCollum against Rozier. Down low. Martin right side. Rozier, the pass to Butler. Shot clock at six. Butler, so crafty around the rim. A oh, great focus there. Defender with some contact, and Butler able to glance around it, through it, and score. Pass to McCullum. McCullum draws the double. Right side Ingram. Fires for three. Hits a three-pointer. Ingram's got nine. That's why you have to think twice before sending a double team at someone. Right wing. Here's Highsmith. No points yet. Oh, there's the alley. And out of bounds. New Orleans will have it. A sloppy turnover. <laughs> when you're not locked in, you pay the price. Bam out of bios checked in for Miami. New Orleans has gone 7 of 11 from outside the arc. Nice percentage from distance so far. Pass to Marshall. Back to Ingram. Jones, the pass to Ingram. Five to shoot. Buried from 15 feet out. 11 points in the game. That jumper right there, pretty pure from B.I. Sized up to D and just took it. Now Adebayo. Adebayo's double. And here's Butler outside. Good! And the assist goes to Adebayo. Adebayo's got five assists in the game. New Orleans has gone 50% from the perimeter in the second. Shooting four of eight. Williamson against Adebayo. From nine feet. And another basket for New Orleans. Miami's gone two of four from the perimeter in the second so far. Rozier outside. Butler passes to Highsmith. Outside for Rozier. Oh, and a fast break for the Pelicans. Jones from outside. That one goes. Now he's one for two. I like the quick trigger from Jones that time. I know the shot was there. And I know he didn't wait for it. Butler on the wing. Covered by Ingram. Outside for Rozier. And again, Miami with a triple. Oh, you gotta love the back and forth. Showing real confidence at the arc. Yeah, both teams finding ways to the three-point line and trying to take advantage from distance. Now here's Ingram. He's got 11. Williamson with a screen on Butler. Ingram, the pass to Williamson. Got it. Williamson's got six in the quarter. And he has the right partner, Ingram, creating the offense in the pick and roll. And that's a nice read. Ingram against Butler. It's out of bio. High post. Back to Butler. Pass to Highsmith. Now Rozier. Four on the clock. And he drives in. And Adebayo, the bucket, on the assist by Rozier. Adebayo's got 10 points. New Orleans in the lead. Now Williamson. Six points for him. Here's Jones. Pass to Marshall. New Orleans needs to hurry. Late clock. Shot from the wing. Can't get it to go. Three for five shooting so far. Miami has gone five of ten from beyond the three-point line in this game. And here's Robinson. To the inside. 
Here's Adebayo. Launches it. Rebounded by Ingram. And even though he couldn't send the shot back at him, he certainly altered it. Yeah, that's the kind of energy that you want to see on every possession throughout the game. Hawkins, the pass to Marshall. Inside. And they double up Williamson. And here's Ingram outside. Oh, they pick off the pass. Butler against Ingram. Butler passes to Rozier. Screen by Robinson. Fires the three. And it's Terry Rozier with the three. Give him eight. An improved shooter from downtown. Rozier has been consistent in adding this to this game over the years. Pass to Marshall. Butler against Ingram. And that basket makes him 6 for 11, shooting a good percentage. One minute left to play in the first half. Now here's Adebayo. Adebayo sets a screen. Butler with the ball. He's picked up by Williamson. Adebayo, that's good. And maybe that's why he's nicknamed Bam. Taking contact. Bam, bam. Well, New Orleans shooting very well. 62% and going right at the defense. Here's Ingram. Denied by Adebayo. Now here's Robinson. Six points for him. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Bam's size, along with his athleticism, that could be a big problem on the interior. Now at the line, Bam Adebayo. And both free throws good for Adebayo. Makes it pretty tough on the defense. Who are you going to pick to send to the free throw line? Uh, he's hitting the free throws right now. Form looks good. Outside Jones. Valanchunas passes to Ingram. Back to Valanchunas. Outside Jones. Clock at six. To the paint. And McCollum slams it in. Brandon Ingram at that size able to survey the entire floor and make a play. Rozier from outside. Ooh, he released it in time, but it's off the mark. And that'll do it for the first half of play. Pelicans ahead. They're up by six. And we'll be right back after halftime for the start of the third quarter. See you in just a bit. Second half of basketball is upon us, and we may be in for an exciting finish based on how close of a game we've seen so far. Well, you know, C.J. McCollum has been really making an impact here, guys. Yeah, he plays such a smart first half, maximizing his opportunities offensively. Yeah, I'm thinking back to the first half and wondering, did he take a low percentage shot? Everything efficient. Second half underway. Here's who Willie Green's got on the floor. The Duke connection alive and strong with Ingram and Zion at the three and the four. The backcourt, McCullum and Jones. And it's Valanchunas in at center, filling out the middle. And that one drops. Butler's got 22 points. And attacking and playing with intensity, Jimmy Butler, a ferocious competitor. Back to McCullum. And the layup is good after a nice lead pass. A great move. I mean, the defense has no response. Well, just ripping through right there as he finds the open spot and gets right through there. High basketball IQ play. He buries it from three. Rozier's got 11 points. You have to appreciate Rozier's confidence. Ready to pull up as soon as he catches it. Williamson finds Ingram. Now McCollum. 
Alan Chunas with a screen on Rozier. Brent, when you look at the Pelicans' 2023 season, health played a big part in their ups and downs. No doubt about it, B.A. So difficult to build a winning culture, or at least a consistent competitive culture, when guys are in and out of that lineup. So consistency is a key. If they get that for their coaching staff, this team has a real chance to make some noise this year. Free throw drops from Valanchunas. Grant with the Pelicans, so many of the past few years have started with such high hopes. Yeah, B.A., and at the end of every season, it feels like there's a big what-if hanging over New Orleans. They haven't been able to catch many breaks in recent years. And Valanchunas drops them both. And Valanchunas, a seasoned veteran now that you basically can count on as a double-double guy, even in limited minutes. He really does a great job of patrolling the paint. Good. He's got 16. When it's this close, every bucket matters. You need good looks. And Ingram has got the ball here for the New Orleans Pelicans. They held a 12-point lead earlier. Shoots from the elbow. No good that time. Ooh, good work defensively by Butler. Down low. Valanchunas with a rebound. Valanchunas has got seven rebounds in the game. Outside Jones. Pass to Valanchunas. McCollum with it. Williamson looking around. Now Valanchunas. Outside Jones. Beyond the arc. Knocks it down from distance. And the Pelicans lead by six. Continuing to hone this part of his game. I like seeing Jones hit from deep. Adebayo with it. Adebayo is doubled. Pass to Rozier. This one for three. And a great assist by Butler as that one goes. Rozier's got 14 points for the game. And any decent look from distance, he's taking it. He has that locked-in mentality right now. Seems to be taking it on his shoulders aggressively to shrink this lead. They really needed those points. Robinson against McCollum. It's Robinson, high post. He has six, and it's out of bounds. The Heat able to retain possession here. To the middle. Stolen by Valanchunas. And it's the Pelicans on the break. Williamson passes to McCollum. Ingram against Butler. Pass to Williamson. Valanchunas with a screen on Butler. Just five to shoot. And Valanchunas with the bucket on the assist by Ingram. Ingram's got his fourth assist in this one. For Miami, they've gotten four of their first five shots to go since the break. Rozier, the pass to Adebayo. Oh, it's blocked by Valanchunas. All right, let's get a report from Allie. Zion Williamson is a one-man wrecking crew inside. His coach, Willie Green, said, quote, it's incredible his touch when he gets down to the lane with two, three guys hanging on him, and he's still somehow able to find the glass, and he does a great job of finding his teammates as well. And, Brian, let's not forget about those dunks either. Oh, definitely not. That's the show. Thanks, Allie. Here's Adebayo following the score by New Orleans. Oh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. That's on Jonas Valanciunas. And the power of Adebayo. Get off me. And a moment here to take a look at the scoring breakdown for New Orleans. Their hot shooting from long distance has been the key. Spacing the floor and rising up with that confidence. And throughout the game, the mid-range area has been their bread and butter, continuing to pull up from there 
with a tremendous amount of confidence. First one falls for him. And more and more, Bam Adebayo loves to go with his mid-range shot. Yeah, he feels like it's getting to that automatic stage when he's at those elbows with that high arcing, soft touch that he has. And that high release makes it really tough to stop. And both free throws good for Adebayo. Adebayo is by no means an ordinary big in this league. He's just one of the few players in the NBA who can legitimately guard one through five. A true defensive anchor. Now here's McCollum. 24 points for him. Rozier with it. Pass to Adebayo. Outside Butler. Adebayo, a screen on Ingram from behind the arc. Miami, no good that time either. And the defense got away with one there. I mean, that's the shot he typically makes. They double-team McCollum. Robinson against Jones. It's good. Jones has got five points now in the quarter. Looking pretty nimble on that drive. The slender Herbert Jones is good at understanding when to go in strong. Adebayo. Oh, that's his eighth make of the game. He's only missed four so far. And he's leading the charge for them. But let's be honest, he needs more help if they're going to get out in front. Yeah, doing anything he can right now to get his team to cut into this lead and give them a chance. Pass to Valanciunas. Now Ingram. Williamson, left side. And here's McCollum, pounded by Rozier. McCollum draws the double. Williamson for three. Adebayo grabs the board. Adebayo's got five rebounds tonight. McCollum against Rozier. Back to Adebayo. Pass to Highsmith. Adebayo sets a screen. Tries a 10-footer. Rejected by Valanchunas. Ingram, the pass to Valanchunas. Outside Ingram. Now Jones. Robinson defending. Here's Valanchunas. Ooh, coming through again. Shooting five for seven now. And that's where Jonas is going to do most of his damage. Down low, playing physical, and knocking guys around. Butler against Ingram. Here's Adebayo. And a great assist by Butler as that one goes. Adebayo's got 22. Now that play never gets old. The pick and roll will still be an offensive staple 100 years from now. Trust me. McCullum on the wing. He's got 24. Jimmy Butler with a rebound. For Miami, they've gotten 6 of 10 shots to fall in this third quarter. On the wing, Rozier. Back to Butler. Pass to Adebayo. Launches a three. Goes back up. Oh, tough work inside from Butler. Yeah, Butler does the things on offense, but it's the dirty work, the loose balls, the extra possessions that he gives you on D. That's special. And here is Williamson. Now here's McCollum. And there's the whistle. That'll go on Terry Rozier. That's his first foul of the game. Second team foul. Substitution on the court. Hawkins, the pass to Ingram. Adebayo against Valanchunas. Six on the shot clock. And the Pelicans miss again. Miami has gotten two of four threes to fall here in this third quarter. Pass to Adebayo. Adebayo is screen on McCullum. Rogier, the pass to Adebayo. He's got another one. That's 10 for 15 now. That time, Bam just shifted the D over and found a bucket all by himself. Now Valanchunas. Now Ingram. To the 
right side. Here's Hawkins. Robinson defending. Hawkins can't get it to go. For Miami, they've gone 8 of 13 in the second half. Up top, Rozier. McCullum defends for the lead. Rozier can't get it to go. I know it's about defending the post and the three-point line these days, but still got to be active in the mid-range area, and the defense gets away with one there. Now here's Ingram. He's got 15. Alan Tunis with a screen on Rozier. There's McCullum with the three. Fires in the triple. McCollum's got five points now this quarter. Defensively, you can't afford to get stuck on the pick. That's one that the coaches will watch tomorrow with that player. You hate to see him give up in that situation. Martin, he's checked in for Highsmith. And here's McCollum. He's got 27. Here's Valanciunas. Rebound by the Heat. Adebayo's got six rebounds in the game. Into the lane. Outside for Rozier. Outside Robinson. Puts up a three. Gets the three to fall. Robinson's got nine. Well, that's his specialty right there. His confidence firing off the catch is remarkable. McCullum against Rozier. with the rejection. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Adebayo. Mills, he's checked in for Miami. Wright comes in for Rozier. Nance with a screen on right. McCullum, the pass to Nance. Clock is at three and misses it off the right side of the rim. Miami has gone three of five from downtown here in the second half. Pass to Jaquez. And here's Mills. Down low. Here's right. Yes! And the foul! It's going to be on C.J. McCollum. Give them credit. They fought hard to get back into it, and now they're rewarded with the lead. And a moment now to quickly take a look at the offensive approach for the Heat. Well, you love their unselfish play. Keeping that ball moving, good shot to great. That's winning basketball. Well, we've also seen them being very aggressive down in the paint. All game long, they've been hunting down those inside points. A minute 53 left to play in the third quarter here. I think the defense let up a little bit. Thought CJ was an easy cover inside, but he's too crafty. He gets the foul. At the line for the Pelicans. C.J. McCollum. The first free throw is good. And C.J. McCollum just relied upon for the incredible leadership qualities he possesses. And that kind of respect comes right away when C.J. steps into the locker room. And the Heat making a change here. Butler's checked in. Marshall, he's checked in for the Pelicans. Now here's Butler. 24 points for him. No good from 11 feet. A minute 39 left in the third quarter. To the inside. Pass to Hakez. Back to right. Here's Martin. Out of bio with it. And he converts the layup. Adebayo's got 26. And Adebayo's game continues to grow. He's on fire right now. And the Pelicans with possession here. Two-point game. Pass to Nance. From deep. Rebound by the Heat. Martin's got five rebounds tonight. And the Heat shooting an efficient 57% tonight. Over to the wing. There's 45 seconds left in the third. McCullum on the wing. McCullum draws the double. Here's Marshall. Here's Hawkins. 
Still without a bucket. Four on the clock. And it's good. Two points. Wow, he doesn't make those kind of plays too often. Sweet move inside. Miami has gone three of five from downtown here in the second half. Right up top, McCullum defends. McCullum against Wright. Adebayo is screen on McCullum. Just five on the clock. And rejected. How about the reach from Murphy using those long arms to get to that shot? And you've got to be in awe of incredible defensive efforts like this. Oh, my, oh, my. And that was textbook defense. Positioning himself well to send it back. It's good. Can you get it off in it time? counts at the buzzer. That's a feel good. Oh, wow. Oh, man. That'll silence a hostile crowd. C.J. McCollum. And let's take this opportunity to show you our State Farm assist to the game. <laughs> yeah, just shredding the defense with that feed. Zero chance to stop that. And that's what great passing will do for you right there, dissecting the defense with that play. And with these teams locked in a very close contest, this fourth quarter promises to be a good one. Martin at power forward with Adebayo as the center. Butler out there with DeLon Wright. And it's Jaquez in at the small forward position. That's the group in the game for the Heat. Right outside. To the paint. Here's Adebayo. Softly drops in the floater. Adebayo's got 14 points now in the second half. Sweet floater from Bam knowing when not to put his power behind it, but a little bit of finesse. Jones in the post. Butler covering. Snats the screen. Clock at six. For three. Adebayo grabs the board. Miami trailing. Here's Butler. And it's Hawkins with a rebound. Fourth quarter just getting started. One minute in the books. Inside. Here's Nance. Banked it in off the glass. And the Pelicans lead by three. Lots of guys around them that time. And Nance Jr. staying composed to score. The Heat making a switch here. Jovic has checked in. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with Ali LaForce. Well, over the break, I listened in on Eric's Bolster's huddle. Coach delivered some inspiration for his team. He said, quote, we're close. We are inches away from it. Do you feel it? I feel it. This is ours if we want it. Back to you, Ryan. As always, Ali, we thank you. To the paint. And that one is hammered home. Well, if you came here looking for a scoring battle, I think you made the right choice. Yeah, both of these teams locked in on the offensive end. Going to be a high-scoring affair tonight. Outside Ingram. From 13. And it's Miami with a rebound. Outside Butler. Butler double team. Pass to Jaquez. Martin outside. Butler with the ball. Defended by Jones. Jaquez, the pass to right. Oh, he misses the go-ahead basket. The Pelicans have gotten just one shot to fall out of three attempts in the fourth. Outside Ingram. Outside Jones. He hits it just before the shot clock expires. The paint, that's where Jones likes to live, and that's where he's comfortable. And he can use that length to his advantage. Outside Butler. Double team on Butler. And here's right from the arc. That shot missing. The Pelicans have gotten half of their attempts to fall in the fourth. Two for four now. Martin against Jones.
pass to Nance. Here's Hawkins. The three is up. Rebounded by Jovic. He is just so deadly from out there. You expect that to fall. To the middle. Out to the right wing. Right pass to Butler. Double team on Butler. Down low. Here's Martin. And the layup is good off the glass. Working in close to the rim. Martin knows how to finish strong. And so it's Ingram with it. He brings it up for the New Orleans Pelicans. So far in the fourth, they've allowed just six points. Oh, a special move before that shot. And the Pelicans lead by three. He really hooked the defender with that pump fake. It worked to perfection. Right, the pass to Butler. Oh, Butler gets the three. This guy's so hard to rattle on the offensive end. Jimmy Butler is up for the challenge. Now Ingram. And another one falls for New Orleans. And just great intensity down the stretch. I mean, he really wants to rock with the game on the line. Now take a look at him. Locked in right now in this moment. Wants the ball in his hands and feels real comfortable with the shot he's taking. And so here is Miami. The Pelicans getting their last shot to go. Pass to Butler. Double team on Butler. To the inside. No, stopping him there. Jams it in. And he's fouled. An opportunity in a three-point play. It's going to be on Brandon Ingram. Third personal foul. Second team foul. And that one falls. That puts him up one point in the game now. New Orleans has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the fourth quarter. Picked by Williamson. Here's McCollum. Here's Valanciunas. And a good offensive board. And he gets the bucket. Tight ball game coming down the stretch. Yeah, with seven lead changes thus far, this has been a thriller. Pass to Adebayo. Over Valanciunas. Adebayo, that's good. Adebayo's got 16 points here in the second half. This whole second half, he's been unbelievable scoring the basketball. The defense has had literally no effect. Jones against Robinson. Let's the three fly. Knocks down the long J. Well, really good ball movement on the entire possession. And then CJ getting slick. Miami's gone one for three in the fourth quarter from range. Outside Butler. Pass to Adebayo. Now Rozier. Now here's Butler from outside the arc. And again, Miami with a triple. A retaliation there as Butler's competitiveness flaring up as he answers from the arc. Now here's Williamson. Alan Chuna sets a screen. Williamson with it. Guarded by Adebayo. And the basket by Williamson. And the Pelicans lead by one. He was so focused to get that finish there. And the stay somewhat on balance. A great finish from Zion as he gets driving on the inside. Now here's Adebayo. The basket drops. And he gets fouled on the shot. One free throw coming his way. There was a lack of intensity in the first half, but these teams have now turned it up. You asked for those hustle plays earlier in the game. We're seeing them now. Highsmith, he's checked in for Miami. Now at the line, playing out of audio. One. One shot. Free throw, no good for Adebayo. For New Orleans, they've gone 7 for 11 so far in the fourth. Outside Ingram. Pass to McCullum. 4-3. Adebayo grabs the board. Adebayo's got eight rebounds in the game. 
Outside Robinson. To the paint. And Adebayo, the bucket. On the assist from Robinson. Adebayo's got eight points here in the quarter. New Orleans calls timeout. Martin, he's checked in for Highsmith. And the Pelicans also making a change. Jones is checked in. Oh, they get a hand on it. Outside Ingram. McCullum against Rozier. Five on the clock. The shot. Valanchunas can't get it to go. Miami's gone two of four from the perimeter here in the fourth quarter. Jones against Robinson. The three ball. And a great assist by Butler as that one goes. Butler's got nine assists in the game. Great passing. Williamson against Martin. Now here's Williamson. He's guarded closely. Alan Junis with it. Pass to Ingram. Up and in from the low block. Ingram's got 21. And right now efficient as Brandon Ingram is just torching the defense. Rogier, the pass to Adebayo. Ingram against Butler. Back to Adebayo from eight feet. And that's good for two. Adebayo's got 36 points. Time and time again, Butler just making the right play. McCullum against Rozier. McCullum, the pass to Valanchunas. Inside. Here's Williamson. Count the basket and the foul. It goes on Bam out of bio. Yeah, uh, good luck trying to stop Zion there. He's so determined to score. When the defense gets physical with him, he comes right back at him. good from Williamson. Brent, you just never know what you're going to see from Zion when he's on the floor. Well, it's been so great. I mean, exhilarating when he's healthy. I just wish that that would be something we'd see more and more often. Easily one of the most dominant forces in the NBA. And it's Williamson with the ball for the New Orleans Pelicans. Pass to Valanchunas. Valanchunas with a screen on Martin. Back to Valanchunas. Yep, that one goes. And it's now just a one-point heat lead. Big bucket from the big man as Valanchunas knocks it in. Up top, Rozier. McCullum defends. And here's Butler outside. And the three-pointer goes. Butler's got nine points in the quarter. He's a guy that lives for a big moment like that. Great focus and courage in the clutch. Rozier against McCullum. With the 10-footer. Again, the Pelicans. Good for two. Man, he was a go-to guy in crunch time in college. And McCollum now has developed that reputation here in the league. Now here's Adebayo. Pass to Martin. Adebayo a screen on Williamson. Back to Adebayo. Shakes off strong. D and gets to the bucket for two points. Adebayo's got 38 points. Ingram against Butler. Now here's Ingram. Not a lot of room. Down low. Here's Valanchunas. And the dunk by Valanchunas. And Valanchunas just needs a little bit of airspace. He's so big. Easy for him to get to the rim. McCullum against Rozier. 
pass to Butler. Over Ingram. The shot by Butler. No good. Well, the defense was right up on him, so electing to go for the fadeaway there to create some room. Well, that makes sense. And the foul on the shot. So he'll take two from the free throw line. Yeah, part of becoming a star for Ingram is performing at the line in these moments. He gets the first, and that narrows the gap to one. convert on the second that misses well, at the line Ingram always improving we'll see if the defense made a mistake this time with that foul and he comes up with a bucket and this is a huge step showing trust in Bam's play in the biggest moments Ingram against Butler Alan Tunis with a screen on Butler here's Ingram Good D by Adebayo. Miami's gotten four of seven three-pointers to fall in the fourth. Butler passes to Rozier. He connects! And it's obvious how much Rozier loves coming up huge for his team. Capable of nailing big-time shots. New Orleans calls timeout. They're trailing by five. There's 53 seconds left in the fourth quarter. <laughs> against Williamson from downtown Adebayo grabs the board the D doesn't seem to be too worried about him from three-point range and he shows us why still I expect him to make one of those Miami with the ball leading by five and so they foul intentionally. Good on the first. And that increases the lead to six. So he goes two for two at the line. And it's a seven-point game. Free throws always a little bit sweeter when they can add to your lead. Valanchunas with a screen on Butler. Releases. And the Pelicans miss again. And it's Miami's ball. They didn't make it easy on their fans or themselves. But at the end of the day, everyone on their side is happy. Yeah, happy indeed. The momentum shifted away from them a few times, especially early on. But give these guys credit for sticking with the game plan and finishing the job. All right, let's send it down to Allie LaForce, who's with our player of the game. Thanks, guys. Bam, a huge game for you. Is this just your own initiative, or is this something that your coaches and your teammates expect of you? Uh, it's coming from everybody. They want me to be more assertive and really try to lead this team. And it's mainly because of Jimmy. Jimmy really pushing me right now to uh, just be aggressive and keep doing what I'm doing. And, you know, I'm thankful for that and this team. Expectations are high for Bam. Thanks so much. Allie, thank you as always. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Brent Barry, Grant Hill, and Allie LaForce, this is Brian Anderson. Thank you for watching this 2K Sports presentation of the NBA. As we present our New Balance Player of the Game,